I wanted to do a quick little supplies that you're going to need before I do the tutorials on the spiders. And the reason I'm doing that is one of the things I can't stand is a tutorial starts and next thing you know, they're digging right into it. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. It's going to take me like a week to get these supplies or order these supplies. And that's so not fair. And I'm so excited. And so I don't want to do that to you. I want you to have time to order what you need. Um, things you may not have thought of. And one of those things is wire. This is probably my favorite wire. And this is uh, artistic wire. I got this on Amazon for pretty cheap. As you can see here, it is a 22 gauge. And I think you can go even thinner to 24. Then here I have the 24 gauge. That's probably the one that you're gonna be using. So you wanna get yourself some 24 gauge. Again, I found this on Amazon. And uh, this is the one that is for most spiders. Once in a while, you're going to find yourself with the bigger the spider, the bigger the beads, you're gonna want a thicker wire. Pretty much the gist of that for wire. Now, two of the three, by the way, there's several ways to make spiders. I was looking up other people's tutorials to see how they did theirs and compared to mine. And uh, I there were ways that I didn't even know. Like, I had no idea. Anyways, one of the ways I'm going to show you, you're going to need extra, extra thick wire. In which I'm not even sure I have and I might have to order. For the third tutorial, I'm going to be doing a wire body. So you'll want to look for uh, 18 gauge. And this one here is pretty thick. Let me just show you real quick. Let's see how thick that is. So definitely want to get one of that for one of the tutorials. But in the meantime, the first two I'm going to show you are just going to be head pins. Okay. Head pins. This is where it gets crazy too. Head pins. Look at this madness. I've bought the like variety kits from Fire Mountain Gems. I'll put that in right now in the video and then here are just a variety you want to get for the ones I'm going to show you two inch two inch head pins you can get the colored ones if you want this is two inch you can get um let's see here's another color one you can just get the plain coated silver some of the coated ones, if you get cheap from like eBay, again, from my experience, they will actually crumble because they're so cheap. They've just painted over rusted pins. I think these might be the cheap ones where they're deceiving. And once you start twisting them around, the, the coating comes right off. So live and learn. I got some of these head pins, but they're too weak. Okay, that covers the head pins. Two inch, that's what you want. Now, if for some reason you want to do, that's for your average spider butt or body bead. If for some reason you want to do a longer bead, say this kind, um, or Say you want to do a longer bead like this for your spider body, but it will not fit with a two inch. Okay, so let's see, an average two inch here. See that? That's not gonna work. 
barely fits and not for the end that I'm going to teach you. So in that case, you're going to want to get long head pins. This here is a four inch 21 gauge. I had a pack of a hundred. Get one out here. I also use these for my praying mantis, sometimes grasshoppers, depending on what bodies I'm using. And see, there's gonna be plenty of room for that. So just keep that in mind. Your average spider butt is gonna be maybe anywhere from 12 to 20 millimeter. Again, it depends on what kind of uh, beads that you want. This here. I'd say this is around a 12. Okay. This is around a 18. This is around a 20. You also got flat ones. All right. This is a uh, hmm, 16, maybe 18 millimeter bead, this butt. The head beads, I recommend six millimeter. This is probably more closer to a seven or an eight. Right here's your six. So again, the size of your spider depends on the beads. Some of these are grasshopper bodies. Please just forget about them. Here's a cool one, right? Totally random, very heavy. This I would probably use a big head pin for because I don't know. Let's see. Um, I could probably do a two inch on that. See that? And I do the, the hook with the twist at the end. Back when I first started a long, long time ago, before I really understood or knew some of this stuff, I would just do this. This is a grasshopper body, but anyways, I'll probably redo it. I did not understand how to do this twist thing. See that? And I used to just do a little hook, see if it focus. And that's not really that sturdy. It's not that it can't be done. It's just not as long life lasting. The other thing you're gonna wanna get for at least two of the tutorials, Let's see different bead caps these again just keep in mind it all depends on the size of your body bead not necessarily your head bead if you want see this you can put a head bead at, at, at the top if you want I don't usually um, decorative you might want to so when you pick out your beads, make sure it's an average hole like this. Okay. Try to try to keep that. Same with the head bead. Try to uh, keep an average hole. We don't want to go crazy. All right. So you're going to be doing this. Now again, I'm not showing the full tutorial. I'm just showing the things that you're going to need. Different bead caps fit different beads. So if you're ordering 20 millimeter beads, you want to uh, get a bead cap that's 20, 20 millimeter bead cap. See how that lays on there nice? If you get a, let's see, this looks like an eight or six millimeter bead cap, it's going to be risen up from the behind, which honestly is kind of cute too still works it's just that it will cause a little bit of uh, motion a little bit of leeway there Let's see 
some of these this looks more like it's like a 16 it fits great on a 20 millimeter bead or an 18 so they do there is like some leeway there this one here is for a really smaller bead maybe six maybe four millimeter but see how it's a different look it works and with this twist backing these kind of bead caps work but it wouldn't work so good if it was just a loop back so I think that covers everything you're gonna need again the wire for the legs the bead cap for the body the different size beads you want to get six millimeter heads at least 12 to 20 millimeter butt beads so if you want to get flat ones that's okay too they're a little bit more trickier for just everything stability and the way the legs sit next is the tools you'll need in the work area everyone has their own preferences do what you feel is comfortable I um, right here I have a cotton cloth on a tray uh, when I was inside I only did a cotton cloth on a flat table um, the next thing you're gonna need is I always recommend at least one of these they're great to scoop up seed beads let me put this down you're obviously going to need some seed beads for your legs I forgot to mention that <laughs> kind of obvious but let's see so here's some fancy seed beads All right. I'm going to dump some out now this scooper is great see that yeah I can put them right back in okay next you're going to want at least one pair of needle nose pliers they have the round nose tips they have the little cut cutter part right here and they're just my go-to at this point they're probably getting a little dull but they still work great I have a thicker more durable pair for uh, heavy duty or wires things like that they're okay they're not as my favorite but they work here's some wire clippers these are my favorite here's the brand depends on the way you make spiders sometimes you will need wire cutters so you can get way in here if you have to fix something or a bad backing that kind of thing you are gonna need a second pair of needle nose pliers in some form they don't have to be the cutting kind but you're going to need something to grip onto the end while you twist with the other ones so I was wrong you're gonna need those main pair with the cutters and then you're gonna need any kind of other ones to grip okay I'm gonna to touch one more time about seed beads bugle beads seed beads you're gonna want a variety see this I have a mix of seed beads I mean you don't have to have a mix just make sure you have them on hand so you can decide what kind of look you're looking for okay so here we have regular seed beads these are 11 you can do 10 you could do 8 but they get bulky and some like to mix them in with these little accent beads again it, this is like four millimeter uh, two millimeters you can go all the way down and again 11 0 you definitely want to have for the type of spiders we're doing okay it all depends on what color you want um, sometimes I go complete opposite so this one's a pink kind of like a mauve 
clear thing, I may try something totally crazy like green. Depends on the color of your beads. It's green, it's pink, it's clear crystal. So I would do a variety of pink, green, and clear. If I wanna be matchy, matchy, matchy. If I don't, I might go orange and totally like make it look crazy. And at the end of the day, it ends up looking really neat because they contrast e each other so much. Here's another cool mustard type seeds. This would be a butt bead. And there's a little bit of green in there, a little bit of orange, amber, yellow. For this, then I'd end up doing maybe a red and that would contrast red legs, red bugles. How cool would that be? So again, it depends. Have fun with it. Pick some colors that would really, you know, stand out for you. Something you'd like to have hanging around, no pun intended. So uh, that's it. So next time I see you, have all your supplies ordered. I hope this wasn't too confusing. And I will see you for the first tutorial. And I almost forgot, if you're old like me, <laughs> you might need some readers, okay? Um, my eyesight finally started to go for nearsighting. Um, I had LASIK done when I was in my 20s. And they always said, you know, we can't stop aging. Well, they were right. I'm 43, going to be 44 this year. And now it's hard for me to read and see things close up. So if you're like me, you might need a pair of these. I do recommend safety glasses if you end up with glass beads that are very edgy, sharp, anything that might... Glass beads in particular, especially the butt beads. Um, I've had them fling up into my eyes. I've had metal pieces fling up my eyes. It's something to consider if you're going to use the glass beads. Not so much gemstones. You'll probably be okay with that. But yeah. So, yep, you might need a pair of these. <laughs> We're in the same club. Okay. Bye.